Chinese anthropologists have long favored a regional continuity model for human origins. Pressbooks.edu Professor Wu Xinxi had observed a continuity over time in the morphological features of hominids in China, a morphological mosaic between Homo erectus and Homo sapiens, suggesting a continuity between the two species. Over the past few decades, Dr. Xin Shi has been one of the most ardent advocates for the multi-regional model. He highlighted the famed Dolly Skull, Homo erectus, as evidence of Asian continuity. A hominid skull was discovered in Mongolia in 2006. The fossil was found in Salkeet Valley in northeast Mongolia. Miners had uncovered a near perfectly preserved upper cranium. An international team of scientists was called in from the UK, Italy, Russia and China. The researchers named the specimen Mongolanthropus given the thickness of the skull cap and the large eyebrow ridges. Now, after over a decade of research in both the field and the lab, scientists are understanding the significance of the fossil. Both the dating of the fossil and the DNA evidence seem to point towards the continuity model in Asia over African origins. Mongolanthropus, late Homo erectus, Neanderthal, or Denisovan. Atlas Obscure 2019, scientists originally believed that the fossil belonged to folks like the Neanderthals or Homo erectus or maybe even the Denisovans. University of Oxford Press 2019, the skull cap is mostly complete, brow ridges and nasal bones, the presence of archaic features have led to the specimen being linked with Homo erectus and Neanderthals. DNA samples were sent to Svante Pabo's lab in Leipzig. They tested the mtDNA. They got two shocking results. The DNA sequencing was a match for Homo sapiens. And the skull cap belonged to a female. Paper, science.org 2020, we present analysis of the genome of a 34,000 year old hominid skull cap discovered in the Salkeet Valley in Mongolia. We show that this individual was a female member of a modern human population. Additionally, a team at Oxford headed by Tom Higgum worked on the dating. They came back with yet another surprising result. Eureka Alert! 2019, the Oxford team redated the specimen to 34,000 to 33,000 years ago. This is around 8,000 years older than the initial radiocarbon dates obtained on the same specimen. More from Professor Higgum. Quote, this enigmatic cranium has puzzled researchers for some time. Radiocarbon dating has now shown that this is a modern human and the results fit perfectly within the archaeological record of Mongolia." End quote. Homo sapiens in the Far East over 100,000 years ago? New evidence is being uncovered in other East Asia sites from bones, lithics, and artifacts suggesting anatomically modern humans were in East Asia 50,000, 80,000, maybe even as far back as 100,000 years ago. BBC, fossil teeth place humans in Asia 20,000 years early, 2015. Scientists working in Daoxian, south of China, have discovered teeth belonging to modern humans that date to at least 80,000 years ago. Continuing, this is 20,000 years earlier than the widely accepted out of Africa migration that led to the successful peopling of the globe by our species. Professora Maria Martino Torres, directora del Proyecto Cima de los Huesos, Neanderthal site in Spain, has worked closely with the Chinese scientists on their fossils and lithics finds. 
from her paper et al. 2019. Here we present evidence from the newly excavated Fuyan Cave in Daoxian, southern China. This site has provided 47 human teeth dated to more than 80,000 years ago. Continuing, this sample supports its unequivocal assignment to Homo sapiens. Unequivocal presence of Homo sapiens in Asia 80,000 years ago. CNN, February 2021, Katie Hunt, science writer. 47 teeth found in a cave suggested that Homo sapiens were in China at least 20,000 years earlier than early modern humans had been previously believed to have left Africa. Continuing, it also tantalizingly hinted that a different group of early humans could have evolved separately in Asia. Evidence from Lithics and Artifacts University of Oxford, January 2019 The new radiocarbon date obtained for the Salkeet Valley specimen shows that this individual dates to the same period as the early Upper Paleolithic stone tool industry in Mongolia. Continuing, associated with modern humans which could be in excess of 100,000 years. Как вы позвоняете, я понимаю только немного по-русски. Вы понимаете, спасибо большое. Russian scientist Anatoly Derevyanko is the co-discoverer of Denisovans from Denisovan Cave, 2008. His related paper published in 2013, Early Upper Paleolithic Stone Tool Technologies of Northern Mongolia. Paper, our analysis of lithics from these two Mongolian sites suggests cultural continuity from the initial to the final stage of the early Upper Paleolithic. Sci News 2019, stone artifacts unearthed at the archaeological site of Tobor 16 in the northern Kangai Mountains of Mongolia indicates that anatomically modern Homo sapiens traveled across the Eurasian steppe 45,000 years ago. Continuing 10,000 years earlier than previously thought. Another paper, 2023, Jean-Jacques Hublon et al. Here we report a piece of ornament interpreted as a phallus-like representation. It was found in a 42,000-year-old Upper Paleolithic archaeological layer at the open-air archaeological site of Tobor 21. Continuing, the pendant was produced during a period that overlaps with age estimates for early introgression events between Homo sapiens and Denisovans, and in a region where such encounters are plausible. Cosmos, quote, these revised age estimates align with dates from other human fossils in northern China, suggesting a geographically widespread presence of Homo sapiens across Eastern Asia, end quote. Michael Petraglia, professor at Australia's Griffith University. BBC, quote, some researchers have proposed earlier out of Africa Homo sapiens dispersals, we need to find out whether they went extinct or they really did contribute to later people. Maybe we really are descendants of the dispersals 60,000 years ago. Continuing, quote, we need to rethink our models, end quote. Maria Martinon Torres. Denisovans in the Upper Paleolithic. New fossil, lithics, and genetic evidence uncovered by Asian archaeology teams is proving that Denisovans and Homo sapiens could have overlapped for as much as 50 to 60,000 years. The putative dates for Denisovans are 390,000 years ago to 40,000 years ago. 
the newest DNA evidence is suggesting much later dates for Denisovan's survival in East Asia. The authors of the new paper on Denisovan ancestry conclude the Salkeet genome provides direct evidence that ancestors of modern humans who lived in East Asia 40,000 years ago had met and mixed with Denisovans. Quote, Indeed, there is good evidence that some modern humans interbred with Denisovans on multiple occasions, that the two groups coexisted for an extended time, with some studies suggesting a last contact as recently as 25,000 years ago. End quote. Janet Kelso, The Guardian, March 2024. Could the Salkeet Valley female 34,000 years ago be a descendant of a mother and father, one Denisovan and the other Homo sapien? Did the Salkeet woman with her part Denisovan lineage leave descendants throughout Central and East Asia today? Thank you for watching. More to come on the Denisovans.